Uh, that's going to hurt them just a little bit, but hopefully the last kid will pull it through. Okay, here comes their dismount again, Paul. This unique branny off. So set it up by doing a giant half turn at the top, which will be on the next giant swing. And she'll go swing forward, and as she rises up the back, release, and does a nice branny dismount. And we should report to you uh, the awesome Dawson, 9.7 on the balance wow. beam. So uh, she, uh, she's <laughs> holding that team together very, very nicely. We'll wait here briefly for her scoring bars before we go back to the balance beam for the final performance for the Hills Angels group. Uh, okay. And here's her score, an 8.7. 8.75. Uh, so that's uh, not bad, but not good. It's no, not going to help them any, but it's probably not going to dig a hole for them. Either. Right. So it might make it tough for them to hold on to that third spot. We'll see. And now back to the balance beam. Christy Snyder, 16 years old, Hills Angels. Can you imagine working uh, after the Dawson. Awesome Dawson? So that means uh, if everything goes as planned, we should expect a performance at that level or higher. So it's uh, interesting to see that this young lady can be put in that situation and handle it. This is her third year as well in national competition. And every year she just uh, proves to be a real experienced, nice should tell you the scores uh, for the first three performers, 8.0 for Hills Angels. First Ooh. and a 9.35 and a 9.7, so the pressure is really on her. This could be a flip up layoff, flip flop. Had it real well, maybe a 10. There's her full turn, nicely done. A lot of girls have problems with that full turn, which is so unusual. They do these tough acrobatic skills, and then the full turn comes along, and uh, sometimes throws it off, but she handled it no problem at all. The beam is her favorite event because it's the most fun to practice. Can you imagine that? No, I can't. But that's great because it, it shows here that she does enjoy it because she's handling this routine really well. Perhaps for a swing through layout. Real nice. As you watch her, you can just settle in. You feel really confident watching her. Like you know she's going to do a nice job and not fall off. Round off double four. Beautiful routine. Boy, Hills Angels is so strong tonight. They're going to be tough to beat. They're going to be so happy to throw out that 8.0. Yeah, because that's going to be a nice nine score for them and uh, should help them stay in the lead. Sure. Now all they have to do is go into four exercise where they, they're a real strong team there. Improve their stuff. Donna Craig, coach there. Okay, here's her tumbling series. She goes flip-flop into a layout, step-out, flip-flop. She you covers the full length of the beam with that, which is interesting to see, the tumbling the whole length of the beam now, 16 feet of solid right. tumbling. Now here's her dismount, her round-off, double twist. She runs, now she gets both feet on, one foot will be in front of the other as she takes off. And then she wraps the double foot and finishes it above the beam to a nice landing. And you see Donna Craig yeah. there, coach, showing her how to stick that landing. <laughs> At least we know Donna stuck the landing on that double pull, even, <laughs> even if Christy didn't. Good job by Christy Snyder. And she's happy. She's just waiting for that score to come up. Yeah, they're hoping, they're hoping. I think it's going to be higher than a 9.5, without a doubt. Eyes are glued to the scoreboard. And 9.50. Good Ooh. call, Jeff. Right on the mark. 9.50. So uh, they pack away a 9.35, a 9.5, and a 9.7. So they're in great shape after balance. Right. Remember, this is our young 13 year old Caroline Peck from Rebounders on the uneven bars. Real young gymnast coming up. I'm sure that's going to be one to watch. She does a release move coming up here to the Kinder, named after a German gymnast. Here it is. Real well done. I think the biggest problem this young lady has is getting from one bar to the other. <laughs> so far apart for her height. Look at she has to stand on and literally leap to the other bar. And now she's going to set up for a dismount. Double full. Beautiful routine. Real clean. She'll score real well with that. They're, they're going to be very happy about that after the fall. She'll recover a little bit for them. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, their score is an 8.45. They have also a 9.15, and then also an 8.75. So they need it very badly. Needed they did. a strong performance there. Okay, here we're going to show you that Ginger release move. The girls have to do a release move if they want to get the full value for the routine so they can start from the 10. And here it comes. She gets the legs up. Let's go to the bar. Half turn front summer and she grabs it. Unbelievable. Of course, release move means she lets go of the bar and she has to re-catch the bar. Exactly. That's right. So that's what we mean by a release move. Here she is standing on the bar going way out, her full <laughs> body length away to the high bar. Or just now. Notice on that cast handstand, there's no arms bent. A lot of girls bend their arms, and as they get better, they don't. And here she comes with her double full. Really nice to a nice, beautiful end. She knows right where she is on that. And our head judge there just passed the score on down to the score. is Deline Darst, one of the top judges in our country. And uh, it's nice to see her here putting forth the effort. And a 9.575, a great score, which they needed very desperately in, yeah. that, in that rotation. So Caroline Heck... Uh, pulls the team back together. She sure uh, does. 13-year-old mainstay for the uh, rebounders. Again, we'll be right back for the uh, rest of this third round of competition. Please stay tuned. National championships. These are the team finals. We have eight teams in the running, uh, and we're in the middle of the third rotation. We move over to the floor exercise uh, event, and again, it's the New England Express. Remember, they were running second coming into this rotation, and they are the defending champions. Right, and I think that's where that experience of being a champion is proving true here. They're moving up in the standings. This is 14-year-old Lauren LeBranche. And Lauren's been with the team at the Nationals the past two years, so this is her third year. She's been in gymnastics 11 years, though, as oh a 14-year-old. <laughs> they start them young up there. Nice first pass. It's a little problem with the win. You know, it'll be a 10 to 2 deduction. double pike. Real nice landing on that one. And we should uh, let our viewers know that New England is really competing without their top gymnast, Hillary Anderson, who had a little bit of a problem in her family, and we want to wish her the best. She did qualify for the World Championship trials, or final right. trials, we should say, and she'll be back in great spirits there, but it set them back a little bit. They've had to pull some other people out, and uh, right. Kip Reed uh, isn't at full strength, but he's still in second place, what can we say? Seems to turn it on every time. job real confident Kept it smooth. well under control and yep. uh, no major difficulties and uh, what we've learned to expect from uh, New England Express as you can see the kids always hug each other you know they're a real family they work out maybe five six days a week you know four hours a day and uh, they go through a lot together can it's tell really they're well conditioned though she hardly uh, she's having no difficulty getting her breath back <laughs> Yeah. Okay, here we're going to see a tumbling pass. And I believe this is her last tumbling pass, the double full. You notice how she twists two times. It happens real fast. It's tough to see. She pulls the arms in close to the body, which makes her spin faster. And she scores a 9.55. So that Great. keeps uh, the New England Gymnastics Express right in the middle of the hunt. We now move Absolutely. over to... The balance beam, I think we're at, with Cherry Hill here, Anne Marie Casalo. And this young lady was a model for the USAIGC uh, program earlier when she, she sure was many five, six years ago. She's I've grown up nicely and uh, still remains in the ranks, doing a great job as a competitor now. She's 16 years old and, as we said, from Cherry Hill Gymnastics. Now, I know Cherry Hill really needs a good beam routine. They, I, I watched the first girl. She had a tough time, fell off. So they're hoping for a great performance from Anne Marie came in as a wild card, and I think Ken Anderson and Tom Krupa have done a great job from the regional qualifying until the nationals here to get these girls in great shape. Oh. Oh. 
unfortunate. She almost hang on the, uh, hung on to the beam there, but then dropped off. If you get a little bit out of line as you do those tumbling series, it's tough to pull it back in and it can just throw you right off. Nice intermediate skill. Handspring step out. Blind landing, so it's kind of tough to see where the beam is. Here's her full turn, done real well. Now she goes down onto the beam, which is a requirement. And she sets up for her dismount. Very nice dismount. Well, good performance except for the fall. I think they'll be okay. I'm sure they hope for better, but uh, hopefully she'll score maybe an 8-9 or a 9-0. And Marie uh, Vassalo, nice job. 16 years right. old, as we said, and uh, from the Cherry Hill Gymnastics Program. And you see the coach comes right in and discusses the problems with her while it's still fresh so they can talk about it. And here's a problem where she fell off. First layoff, she's a little off, the shoulder drop, and then she tried to pull back in, and again she let the shoulder drop, and that the right shoulder drop, and she fell off to the right. If she kept that up, it would have probably been okay. And here's her dismount. These girls, I'll tell you, they have such courage. They really attack this dismount. She drive into the beam for a double tuck. Finishes it nice and high. We're waiting for Anne Marie's score. For sure, it's uh, five tenths off for the fall, so she's uh, looking, hoping for at least a score in the nines. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> All this, and I hurt my big toe too. <laughs> oh, we're having a little discussion with the judges again. The ladies in blue, we call them. He goes, yes, I added wrong. Can you see that? I yeah. had the right score. I just added those numbers wrong. Oh, that, we're all human, I guess. And these judges have to go through a pretty extensive uh, testing phase to become a judge. We've heard very, very few complaints about the judging here. I think the people have been, been uh, very pleased with what's happened. Right. Here comes the score, an 8.95. Uh -huh. So she didn't make it into the 9-0 bracket, but she's... Uh, Finally finished that bear of an event, the balance beam. And now we move over to floor exercise for Amy Myers. And then earlier today, uh, we had a chance to talk with her, and I asked Amy, what is, what's your favorite event? Um, my favorite event is floor, because I like tumbling, and I, like, I feel powerful, you know, when I tumble. We noticed uh, in the qualifying round, you were the top performance on balance beam, a 9.6, better than all the rest. I know beam isn't always your best event, but tell us how that must make you feel and a little bit about balance beam and how you feel when you're performing there. Um, it makes me happy. I didn't realize it was the highest score. And I like competing beams, although there's a lot of pressure, but you just have to concentrate and block everything out. And it's pretty nerve-wracking, but it's fun. We've no, seen none other in this competition so far. So she, this, is, this is where she comes into her whole area. The, uh, in fact, the only double layout I've ever seen quite as good was Mary Lou Rett. And I think she did. She outdid Mary Lou on that one. But she, is, she just loves gymnastics. It's great to see a kid who's been doing gymnastics for eight years. She's 17 years old. They work so hard. And uh, you can tell she still loves the sport. Beautiful. Yeah, she really does. That was a full and back somersault for a second pass. A really a high international skill. It performs it with absolutely no problem. She goes for a third pass. Double pass. Wow! What an awesome routine. You're not going to see too much more difficulty in a full exercise routine than by Amy Meyerson. What Never. a great job. Never. Look, and there's her, there's her team, her team kids that were in the previous competition the days before as individuals, and they're just ecstatic. 
I think she's going to give Dominique a run for a million. Maureen Chagnon does the choreography as well as coaches that team with, uh, with right. Kip Reed. And uh, what a great job they've done. And she's so thrilled. <laughs> and I'm sure she's very happy to get past that, uh, that much difficulty and have it handled so nicely. Yeah. And that's the thing. This doesn't look dangerous. These are very difficult tricks, but they don't seem dangerous because the kids handle them so well. This yeah. is that first pass she did. Oh, no, it's the...